All right, guys. Well, it's January 18th, 2025. I am a civil engineer in the state of Florida. For the last couple of weeks, I've been experimenting with ChatGPT, and I just wanted to kind of take the time to show you the different type of GPTs I was creating. And I think with civil engineering, there's a really big use case. You know, as a civil engineer, we're constantly looking up different codes, regulations. Ultimately, these GPTs will help us be more efficient in those mundane tasks that we have to do sometimes. So I kind of want to just dive into some some of the different GPTs that I'm creating. It's funny because my office, we, we want to give them all names. So we gave it Cleo, the county consultant, Fred, the FEMA facilitator, and Reggie, the reviewer. The one that I think I've been working on the most lately is Cleo, the county consultant, and Reggie, the reviewer. In this video, I'll show you this first one that I'm working on. So if you're new to chat GPT, one of the things that you can actually do is you can create your own GPT. And you're basically giving this GPT a specific purpose. And what's great about this is our company has the enterprise software. So once I think that this GPT is, is good and it's doing exactly what I want it to do, I can share it with others and I can choose to allow people to build upon it, which is awesome. But I don't really plan to share this just yet until I get it to do exactly what I want it to do. So I'm gonna show you some of the challenges and some of the prompts that I use to get it to think and grow and do the right thing. So let me actually go to this one. I believe you can just click it right there. But my job actually entails looking up different land development codes, ordinances, stormwater design manuals, this could potentially take a lot of time. Now, one thing that we've used in the past before ChatGPT and AI is we have to have a really organized OneNote. And the OneNote has just different tabs of each municipality. It has snippets of the standard details, the land development code, website links, all that, right? But even then, you know, you still have to update it. You still have to make sure it's the most current. You have to make sure the information's right. So there's a lot of maintenance. And I feel like ChatGPT and AI is going to change the game with the maintenance aspect. The beauty of this little Clio, the county consultant, is that it'll actually cross-reference all the different land development codes, the design manuals, and it knows to keep all of the links in the manuals up to date because I've fed it different website links where those stormwater manuals are located. Now, that's just a little bit about what I do and where I'm trying to head with this GPT in particular. But let's just kind of dive in and play around with it. So once you actually create one, this is how it'll look in ChatGPT. You have your create and then you have your configure. When you begin making a GPT, you'll usually you're usually configuring the name, the description, and then you can type instructions, but it eventually starts just learning the instructions. So you don't really have to enter anything right here with the instructions. And even the conversation starters too, all of these have just been developed based on what I'm prompting it. Now, if we keep going down, so here's the knowledge tab. So you can actually upload files and this is how you can build its knowledge. So you can upload all the different stormwater design manuals. You can upload emails I and mean, you can upload anything you want. And then you have some capabilities down here of doing web search, Canvas, you could do image generation, which is actually how I developed this uh, funny little picture there. And then you could do code interpreter and data analysis. So this allows the GPT to run code and it can analyze data. It can work with all the files that you've uploaded. Pretty incredible. Now, if you're someone that's not necessarily interested in civil engineering and you're just trying to understand how to create this GPT, this is gonna be your first place to start right here. But here's actually where the fun part kicks in. So once you've kind of filled out all of this information, you're going to want to go to create. And this is the GPT builder. So this is how you keep building upon your program. I kind of want to walk through a few starting points, at least that I've done with this county consultant GPT. So it's really important with this specific GPT to always include the source, any page numbers, website links. You know, I want to make sure that it's actually grabbing the right information. It's, I can't have this GPT hallucinate at all. So when I'm prompting this GPT, I need to specifically state, you will always reference the source code. So just to do an example here, let's look up a random code that I want it to find. And right now I've only built this model on Manatee County, which is one county that I typically work in, but I, I plan to feed it more counties and more jurisdictions you know, that I do work in, but I, I just kind of have to take it slow. This might end up taking weeks or a month to build. So you got to be patient with it. 
But let's look up one code. So let's say, what is the minimum clearance from road base material to SHW, which is seasonal high water? I've already prompted this GPT beforehand to always ask me what county it needs to look into. And then number two, it needs to reference the source and the page number. Now, if it doesn't give me the right answer that I'm expecting, I'll show you how I can prompt it to give me the answer that I'm looking for. So let's press enter. And sometimes it's faster on certain days. So it's, it's going through all of the knowledge. Now, what I expect it to do is it should ask me if it's looking for a certain county. So right now it didn't do what I was expecting it to do. When I get these answers that I'm not expecting, I have to remind it. So in this case, I'm gonna say, always ask what county or jurisdiction, if not directly stated in question. And then I'm also going to say always reference source, page number, etc. Also, I'm kind of frustrated with this model right now because I also had it quote the exact stormwater manual language. One thing that it was doing was that it was adding specific words and it was creating its own sentences. I, I don't, I don't want that. I want it to quote the exact code, the exact land development code, the exact manual, because I don't, want it to just infer. I want it to explicitly state if it is inferring. That's one thing that I'm trying to get it to learn and to understand. And it's, it's actually been kind of a, a pain right now. And you know, these models are not perfect. Maybe ChatGPT 5 or 6 or 7 is just going to be 100 times better and more smart. These are some of the things that you will have to do right now to get it what you what you want it to do. So it says, got it, I'll ensure to confirm the county or jurisdiction when not explicitly stated, yada, 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 yada. Well, let's try again. So it better start following uh, the directions here or we got a long ways to go. So let's do, let's do another one. What's a typical code? So maybe is the minimum, minimum drainage easement for a 20, four inch RCP pipe in a residential development. Again, I'm quizzing it here. What it should do is ask what county. It shouldn't even think any longer than a second. So let's see. Okay, okay, okay. It's doing a little bit better. Not necessarily how I want to state it. I just wanted to say, what county do you want me to look into? So always ask immediately what county or jurisdiction. You know, and the more that I use this, I'm learning how to teach and how to prompt. And I, I'm not really perfect either. And even I'm learning a lot about, you know, prompting and, and teaching. So understood, let me clarify, what county is perfect? I wanted to do Manatee. Because again, Manatee County is the only county that I've, that I've actually, uh, that I've actually uploaded documents or land development code. And this is good. So it definitely got it right, just because I know Manatee County and I, I can pull up the stormwater code. But it's frustrating that it's for getting to one, directly state the code. And then number two, provide the source. I gave it a whole format, you know, a long time ago. And uh, it's just kind of frustrating that, it, that it's not, that it's not learning. So always quote the direct code and link to the source. This is important. It needs to understand the importance. Understood from now on, I will directly quote and I think what's also fun about this is I'm a teacher at heart. So it's it's really fun to be able to teach this thing how to think. So it looks like it's doing something. The exact code. And, and it's funny, I, I don't know if uh I don't know if capitals actually get my point across, but I get kind of feisty with it. Quote the exact code like and then little brackets, uh like page page number. Manatee County Public Works Standards Part 1 Utility Standard Manual page you or provide a link to the document in which I will tell you the other day when I was messing with this it was doing a way better job. Is there a website link you can take me to? It can't even send me a screenshot. It can't even open it within here. So obviously it has a lot of work to do. I was hoping that this video would be more of like an eye-opening experience for everyone. Like, oh my God, it's capabilities. Now, I believe over time, obviously I'm gonna choke on my words here. People are gonna laugh and comment, but it just, I wanted to show the screenshot in time of January 18th, 2025, of where we're at with building these, these GPTs, especially, you know, with, with GPT-4. 
Also, is anyone else building GPTs? Uh, comment below. Uh, comment if your company has allowed you to use the enterprise software. I'm actually really interested. Maybe we can build a community on here where we can learn the GPT prompting together and uh, you know really build some cool models and share them with each other. Yeah, the 25-year frequency. Perfect. And then it, it showed a source. We're going to find that document just to prove maybe we got something in here. Okay. I know, I know that that's what it looks like. So what are we looking for? SW3, you know, at the end of the day, as long as it can pull a source, that's just one step. You know, that's just one step that I like. At least it gave me a source and I can immediately go to the page number. So for local streets, bridges, culverts, not published in the 100 year floodplain design storm shall be the 25 year frequency. So it got it right. Got it right, right there. That's all I have for today. Uh, again, this didn't go exactly as planned. I was hoping for a little little bit more light bulbs or aha moments, but it just shows you the true nature of where this program is at on January 18th, 2025, using the chat GPT four. You know, I think we still got a long way to go. I got some prompting to learn, but uh, if you guys are interested in these videos, I'll keep making more and I'll show the progress over time of, of what I've created. And if you guys are building your own GPTs, comment below. I'm actually really excited to see how other people are using this. Even if you're not in the engineering industry, Maybe you're part of like a financial group and you're using GPT to understand financial models. Comment below. I'm really interested in what you guys are building. That's all I have for today, guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Oh, I like that. If I'm being honest, I think about you all the time I do. I really